Hello everyone. So this session we're going to talk about configuration of inventory management. The configuration includes the activities. Uh, there are certain there are lots of activities in inventory management, some of which have common values. So let's start with that. Let me connect to the server. So again, the configuration activities take place in the IMG screen. So let's go to SPRO IMG. Materials management, inventory management, and physical inventory. And the first thing is maintaining plant parameters. These parameters contain values common for most of the inventory related transactions, including some production related activities. So during practice, we're going to copy from the standard plant, which is 1000. Select 1000 and click on copy as. I just like I just did, and enter one of your plan codes. Double click on that plan code and maintain the values. Now for various goods movement types, the first option would be create storage location automatically, which does not actually mean creation of a new storage location, rather when the activity is carried out with reference to any document, and if that document does not contain the storage location information, and if that there is some specific data to be maintained in that for that storage location, should the system automatically check and maintain that data is what the create storage location automatically checkbox is all about. So when you receive the stock or when you're issuing the stock with reference to a document, in case there is some specific data to be maintained, like expiry date at time, expiry date, or uh, any other thing then the system would ensure that the relevant data is maintained in the system. Delivery completion default will ensure that the system automatically updates the delivery completion of the stock whenever you are receiving them with reference to a document. Missing parts active and summarized missing parts, these two are normally used together to, so that the SIP application can keep track of the stock which is received with reference to in the reference document and which parts have not been received and in case of the parts received is it the complete stock ordered or only partial stock and it's going to summarize those missing parts and the uh, deficit so similarly in case the expiry date has to be checked should the system check for the production date automatically in this plan for all the expiry related date uh, material or not if it is checked, then the production date will be checked. In case of bill of material, how is it used? Where is it applicable? Is what will be mentioned in the goods moments. Similarly, similarly, when you carry out physical inventory process, what is the default stock type selected for the physical inventory process in this plant can be specified here. If you recollect, the physical inventory document that we created did not have any default stock type or alternate unit was not checked, patch and background was not checked. So when we maintain these values in the plant, whenever you carry out the physical inventory process, this will be the default selection. Similarly, when reservation is main created, should the system automatically check the moment allowed checkbox to ensure stock can be issued immediately after reservation. And these two values, days, moment allowed, and retention period are used to indicate for how many days should the system show the stock in the reserved column, that is the retention period. And out of this period, how many days, for how many days should the system allow the stock to be issued? So based on the client requirement, these two values will be maintained. So once you maintain these values, Whenever you carry out any inventory related transactions, the basic data will be taken from here. And the warning messages that you were seeing earlier, like the plant, per, per plan data not maintained, or plan does not exist in so and so table, those types of messages will not be displayed anymore. Right? Next one is attributes of system messages. This is where you're going to set how these messages will be displayed, whether they should be displayed as a warning message, error message, or no message. So based on the requirement, we can maintain the system message settings. 
Next one is defining the number ranges for the various documents that are going to be created, the accounting documents, material documents, fiscal inventory documents, and reservation documents. The first one is number assignment for accounting documents. When you click on execute and go to financial accounting document types, you'll see the document types that are used for every possible type of accounting transaction. But these are all not we are what we are going to be concerned with in inventory management. So the accounting documents that we're going to be concerned about are these three, WA, WE, and WI. Whenever any goods issue in stock is issued by whatever method, whether it is removed from storage, goods issued for any purpose, goods issued against reservation, the value of the transaction will be handled in the WA documents and the goods received WE, inventory documents, WI. So these, for these three document types, we need to maintain the number range. Click on this number range information, enter the company code for which you're going to maintain the number range. Click on change intervals, maintain the interval by year. Like I told you, accounting documents and material documents are maintained by the year. So once you have maintained, the system will automatically update that element. Okay. Next one is the material and physical inventory documents. Click on execute, click on groups maintain. These are the documents for physical inventory documents, physical inventory process. These are the documents for goods movement and inventory differences. And these are the documents for goods receipt. So the reason why we have more number of document types here is because these document types are used for every possible goods movement, not only goods received, but also goods issue and stock transfers, inventory differences, everything. So material document will be created for every possible scenario of a possible stock movement. So these are the different documents used. So based on the transaction required, based on the transaction carried out, each of these documents, the number range will be maintained. Like if you want to maintain a number range, click on group, create, enter the text, year from number to number. Let's say I'm going to maintain the number range for WE document. For WE, enter the year from number to number, save it. Go back, select that document type, click on element group assign and select the number range, click on copy. So now this document type will be assigned under that number range. Save it and whenever you carry out transaction for that particular transaction of WB is the document type used, then it will trigger that particular number range. So like this, the material and physical inventory document number range can be assigned. For reservations, there is no document type. So the interval will be created with the interval code and that code will be directly inserted into the program. So here we go back to number range and here I'm whatever number range code I'm going to assign based on that number range that is assigned within that code, the system will use that code, that range to create the document, right? So these are number ranges. Next one will be settings for enjoy transactions where we're going to Select the screen selection or field selection for MIGO screen and for transactions and reference documents. The first one is field selection for MIGO where we're going to select the screen selection common to all the transactions carried out through the MIGO screen, right? So the various fields which are common to all the transactions are displayed here. Based on the client requirement, you can select it as optional, required, display, or hidden, right? Then field selection per movement type, this is where I'm going to specify additional fields specific for each transaction. For example, when we are returning the material back to vendor, the reason for movement field becomes a mandatory field. Only when you are returning the material back to vendor. So for that reason, the standard common fields does not do not include the reason for movement. 
right? I don't have a reason for moment field here. Whereas return to vendor needs to have it. Similarly, when I issue stop to a cost center, the cost center code should be mandatory. So here, KOSTL, which is cost center code, becomes a mandatory field. So KOSTL, cost center. So like this, based on the client requirement, if any specific field requires to be added for that specific transaction, then we're going to add it here. So just click on new entries, enter the moment type, enter the field name. GRUMD is reason for moment. So for goods receipt, if the client says reason for moment needs to be a mandatory entry, then I can add it. So like this, whatever additional fields are required, specific fields are required for a specific transaction moment types, I can add it here. The last one for the MIGO settings is settings for transactions and reference documents. This is an interesting concept in the sense that when I Open the MIGO screen. When I go to MIGO, the system will allow me to carry out all the transactions irrespective of the user that I'm logged in. It will allow me to carry out all the transactions, but in the real time, based on the username and their authorization, specific users need to be given access to specific transactions. So, in the stores department, there may be certain employees who are authorized to only receiving stock, so they should be allowed to only have access to receiving activities. Similarly, those who are authorized to issue should have access to only issuing. Those who are authorized to transfer should have only transfer options like this. The transactions have to be restricted. But if I assign MIGO, then there cannot be any restriction because MIGO will allow all the transactions to be carried out. So to resolve this issue, what SAP has done is it has created two variations of the MIGO transaction port as a default. And for those transactions, we can specify what type of activities can be carried out and what are the reference documents which can be used. For example, the MIGO underscore GI, GO, GR, GSTR, GI is for goods issue, GO is for other transactions, GR is for goods receipt. TR is for transfers and GS is for subsequent adjustment. For example, if I select MIGO GR, I go to transaction event and specify what type of activities can be carried out using this transaction code. So GR being goods receipt, I can own I should have activities only related to receiving the stock. So goods receipt is receiving stock, release GR block is receiving stock, subsequent delivery is receiving stock, place and storage is receiving stock. So when I make this change and save it, I'm going to assign this MIGO GIF to the users. And when the users log in and they access the transaction code, they will be able to use only those receiving type of activities. Similarly, for each transaction, I can restrict the number of reference documents which can be used. So I go back to the MIG screen, IMG screen, select the transaction and go to reference document and specify what type of reference documents can be used. In case the goods receipt can happen only against purchase order, material document, production order and others, and I'm going to select only those documents, save this configuration. Now when I go back and execute MIGOGR, the reference documents also will be restricted to only those four documents. So like this, based on the client requirement, the end user restrictions can be set up based on the transaction codes that are going to be assigned to them, okay? So these are the end user uh, restrictions and the screen selection, field selection for people. Next, we're going to look at some of the specific configurations for the transactions for goods issue transfer postings. These are the specific configurations. Create store location data automatically. We have already seen what it is. So here the plant is already selected, but within the plant, which moment for which moment types, the system should check for storage location data automatically it can be specified here. Similarly, when you are issuing stock using any other transaction code 
like I indicated earlier, apart from MIGO earlier, we had other transaction codes which were used for carrying out inventory transactions. So in case those earlier transaction codes are used, should the system automatically show the list of all the items in the reference document or not can be specified here. If this proposed pre-selection is checked, then the system will automatically display the list of all the reference document items like in the MIGO screen in these screens also, right? Another interesting thing is the allow negative stocks concept. Usually whenever you're issuing or transferring any stock, You can only issue up to the stock showing in the system. You cannot issue more than the stock available in the system. But what if you have a situation where you cannot keep any stock issue pending because of lack of stock? Obviously, you cannot issue stock that you do not have. But let's talk about a situation where physically you have the stock available. Let's say you get a requirement for issuing 250 pages of the material. In the system, it's only showing 100 cages. Just then, the vendor delivers an additional stock of 300 cages. So physically, you have 400 cages available. But the person doing the goods receipt is carrying out some other activity because of which he may not be able to do the goods entry right now. But because the issue has to be done immediately for that material, you cannot wait for that person to complete the task. So the allow negative stocks option will allow the users to issue the stock even though the system stock is less than what is required to be issued or transferred so when you click on execute it will ask you for which valuation area you want the stock to be issued in negative select that valuation area go to the plant specify the plant in which you want the stock to be issued so here you can select any default plant so here in this plant for which stock types you need to give the you need to issue the stock in negative can be specified and within this plant also you can specify in which store locations the stocks can be issued in negative so based on this setting when that activity is carried out for those stock types system will allow the stock to be issued more than what is showing in the system for your practice, you may not, it will not allow you to issue more than the system stock because this is a practice system. But in the real time, since the everything will be activated, you will be able to issue the stock in negative. Similarly, for goods received, the specific settings, the first one is set tolerance limits. This tolerance limit is to ensure the price variance between the valuation price and the order price unit, the order price uh, value is within the tolerance limit specified here and in case it is outside the tolerance limit should it so show a warning message or an error message for an error message what should be the percentage of difference tolerance and for the warning message what should be the percentage of tolerance limit is specified here and these values these values are mandatory and they have to be maintained at the company board level. Since we copied from the standard plan, these values were already copied for our company code. So the standard price and moving average price variances have to be maintained. Based on this, when you carry out the uh, goods receipt, the system will check for the variance and if it is outside that variance, the tolerance limit system will give you an error message and will not allow you to receive the stock. Similarly, create purchase order automatically. Now, this is not conversion of the purchase requisition to a purchase order, but in case of any tolerance limit, delivery tolerance, it is the quantity receiving, quantity variance is allowed. If a additional stock, that is excess stock, is allowed to be received, for that additional stock, again, a purchase order must be created. So this create purchase order automatically will indicate to the system for which moment type that purchase order has to be created automatically for that additional stock received, the excess stock received. Okay. 
Similarly, copy rules for reference documents is similar to the earlier one. If other than MIGO, the older transaction codes are used, then should the system automatically show the list of items selected uh, items in the reference document or not. Another interesting field is this GR based invoice verification reversal of GR despite invoice. Usually once the stock is received and the vendor invoice is posted into the system, the stock received cannot be reversed. But there are certain companies or in situations where you do need to reverse the stock to receive a replacement or in case of warranty related items if the warranty expires even though the payment has been processed you still need to do a reversal of gr to receive the replacement so for those types of situations for which movement types reversal of gr despite invoice receipt is carried out will be specified here and these will be activated only for those companies that allow such type of transactions. The last important one here for goods receipt is site expiration date check. So for those material, or for those plans which have any expiry related items, first we need to check the production date check. Then specify for which movement type the expiry date check will be set up, uh, will be carried out in which method. There are four options here. The first option is no check. If you leave it blank, that means in for that relevant moment type, expiration date check is not required. Enter and check will indicate that during goods receipt, the expiry date will be entered. And at the time of goods issue, it has to be checked. Option two, enter only. At the time of goods receipt, entry is mandatory. Whether you're going to check it at goods issue or not is not the criteria. Option three will indicate whether you enter it or not is not the criteria. There will be no check, no expiry date check at goods issue. So based on the type of material use, the type of business processes, one of the relevant options will be selected. For manufacturing related plans, usually option one will be selected. So based on the settings and the material is received which has an expiry date the system will automatically calculate and specify those expiry dates the next one will be for moment types now like i informed you earlier every possible stock transaction already has a moment type specified completely new moment type creation is not possible nor can we change the attributes of the moment type to use it differently for example, I cannot use 101 change its attributes to do something else. 101 is can be used only for receiving the stock. Then what are the what are the configurations that we do for a moment type? Uh, these things we are going to assign a new moment type codes in the 900 series for existing moment types. Change the short text or help text description specify which key codes which transaction codes can use new moment type codes maintain the field selection for new moment types specify the reversal cancellation follow moment types and maintain reasons for moments so let's see how to carry this out by creating some moment types so i'll show you how what i'm talking about so I'll click on execute here the field selection will be for moment types select it click on continue don't enter any moment type here. Click on continue again. Now you'll see the list of all the moment types available in the standard SAP system. You have close to 300 standard moment types available for use. So these two are not standards. I'm just going to select them, delete it, all entries, save it. Now I'm going to create a 900 series number for goods receipt, create a moment type for its reversal, then create a moment type for return to vendor and reversal of return to vendor. Then show you how these are carried out. Select the standard moment type 101, click on copy as, enter a new code, let's say 911, press enter, copy all. Click on cancel here, don't worry about that. 
once it is copied double click on it go to short text and based on the language in which you are going to maintain change the text that you want to display against the column So this is the text which will be displayed against the field. Allow transactions will specify what type of transaction codes can access these moment types. If you don't want the older transaction codes to access or use this moment type, select only those and delete it. Click on new entries, enter the moment type and specify Migo. If you want only Migo to access this moment type. Help text is the text which will be displayed when you press F4 in the field. So again, based on the language, you can change the text. Go to EN and for Miko, MIGO, change the text. So here I want to, to display those received. So once you have changed it, click on save. Then you can go to field selection for enjoy and specify any additional fields which are required for this particular moment type. Let's say your client requires the reason for moment field to be made mandatory. So press F4, enter the moment type, press F4, select the field, make it as a required entry, save it. Since reason for moment is a mandatory entry, go to reason for moment option and maintain the reasons for receiving this stock. So you can enter any code, reason code can be anything, and description can also be anything, receiving stock or any other thing. Right? So since this is practice, I'm just maintaining reasons which may not be valid in the real time. Okay. Right. So like this, I can maintain the create and maintain the descriptions for the moment type. Similarly, once I've created the main moment type, I need to create the reversal also. So go back, select 102, click on copy as, enter the next moment type. Click on copy all. Again, click on cancel here because this transaction code does not exist anymore. It's not valid for our current transactions. Once the copying is done, double click on it, go to short text, click on position and maintain the short text in your language. So here, this is VG01, GR reversal. Again, go to allow transactions. Don't leave any blank options. Ensure only MIGO is selected here. Click on new entries. Enter the moment type, enter MIGO. And now go to help text. And for your language, go to MIGO and change the description. Here also, MG01. The reversal of goods received. Against the of Save it. Once it is saved, now go to field selection. Again, make GRUND reason for moment as mandatory. And go to reason for moment, new entries. Enter the moment type, reason for uh, reversing, return to, no, not return to window, cancel GR, 
and you can also say something which is funny. Like I said, this is practice. You can do whatever you want. Create whatever reason quotes you want. So once you are done, similarly create another moment type for return to delivery and it's reversible. I just muted myself, I'm still here. I'm just going to complete the transaction like we did earlier. Double click for the short text, select the language, and enter a description. Return stop with a love transaction. Save it when you go to Fill Selection Enjoy, make GRUND mandatory. Go to Reason for Moment. Let's say I don't want these things. Delete it. Change the descriptions if you want. Let's say I want this to say Return Delivery, Damage to Stock, or Vendor Issue, or Boss it so uh, you can even say don't like window. What is that? Right? So now again for return delivery, I need to create a reversal. Go back, select 123, which is the reversal of return delivery, enter the relevant moment type, press enter, copy all, again cancel. Click on continue, double click on the moment type, go to short text, go to your language and change the description in your language. Page 01, cancel, return, and go to allow transactions, ensure only Migo is there. If Migo is not there, select these things, delete it. Go to new entries 914 at MIGO. Go to help text. Click on position, enter the language, and for me go change the description. Which is 01. Insulation, or rather, reversal of stock return and save it. Once it is saved, go to field selection. And then for this also, you can make the reason for moment as mandatory. Save it, go to reason for moment and maintain the reasons. Now the most important thing for each moment type that we created, I need to create the reversal or follow on moment types. So for goods receipt, we go to reversal, follow on moment type, wherever I see 120. So in place of the standard moment types, whatever we have created, enter those moment types. 102, 912. 122, 913, 102, 912. Save it. Back. Go to 912, reversal for the moments. Again, 911, in place of 101. 
Uh, this is very important. Please ensure if you're working with the consultant to make sure that the reverse head and follow movement types are properly assigned. Because if they are not assigned, then they're going to take the default. And in the real time, it may be possible that these standard movement types may be deactivated. Right? So in case of that, the standard ones will not work anymore. Here, reversal of reversal will be 912. Similarly, 914 for the reversal, 912 for the reversal, and one. Two, one Here for nine one three, I need to actually change it to nine one four, right? The same transaction code cannot be back. Saved. Now let's test. How do I test? Create a goods receipt, cancel it, and then create a return delivery and cancel it. So we go to Nico, select the purchase order, enter some quantity. Here you can take whatever movement type you whatever stock type you want. If not, the movement type, change the movement type. When you go to movement type, now I'll see the movement type that we created. So select 911. And the moment of text is also going to change. Enter the document number. Select the quantity. Specify the store location. Now you see reason for moment becomes mandatory. Let's say I don't enter a reason for moment. When I click on check, it will prompt me. It will give me an error saying reason for moment. Select the relevant moment. Reason. Click on check. You get a data set, that's fine. Click on post. And I just post it. Now I want to cancel this entry. So select cancellation, and the document number, and I click enter. It will give you 912. And reason for the is again mandatory. So select. Item OK. Check. Post it. Let's say again, I'm going to receive the stock into block of stock. Let's say now I'm going to receive into block of stock. I'm going to find item OK, check, store location, let me check. Check, deficit, that's fine, post it. Now select return delivery. Again, the document that will show me 913. Again, select the reason. Item OK, check, post it. Now, when I cancel the return delivery, it should show me 914. Done. So like this, based on the movement types that we have created and the linkages that we have done, system will be able to carry or allow you to carry out those activities. So that's I'm going to cancel the goods receipt itself. So we don't have any stock receipt. So again here, so I'm going to just select the data. Item OK, check and post it. So now, when I do a goods receipt for this document, I show me the standard quantity. Okay. So, back. so, this is how the configuration of inventory management is carried out. This ends the inventory management part. Yay!